Black holes are some of the most interesting objects in the universe, and it's because we know so little about them. In our age of science, we think we understand so much about the universe. You can Google anything, but there still are some mysteries we need to explore. To understand how black holes form, you first need to understand stars and how they die. Stars have an outward pressure from nuclear fusion, and gravity pulls everything in. This balance forms an equilibrium between the pressures, and a star is stable for millions to even trillions of years. Our star, the Sun, is arbitrarily one solar mass. As stars run out of fuel, the equilibrium fades and gravity takes over. Any stars under around 10 solar masses collapse into a white dwarf. When larger stars run out of fuel, gravity takes over and ends the star's life in a wonderful way. Stars implode, shooting more energy into the universe in a second than our star will its entire life. This phenomenon is known as a supernova. If you want to learn more about supernova, Click the link here, or click the link in the description. For stars 10 to 25 solar masses, what's left after going supernova is a neutron star, a super dense, very hot object that will slowly fade until the end of time. For stars over 25 solar masses, what's left is a black hole. A black hole is an object that's so dense, its gravity is so strong that even light can't escape. That's the only reason that it's actually dark. The black hole can be broken down into two different parts, and this is probably the most confusing aspect of a black hole. The event horizon and the singularity. The singularity is a tiny area smaller than an atom in the center of a black hole that we think contains all of the matter that makes up the black hole. The event horizon is a spherical-ish area around the singularity where gravity is so strong that light can't escape. As more matter enters the black hole, the event horizon will actually grow. Black holes will absorb any matter that comes too close to the event horizon. The matter will add to the black hole's size and increase the size of the event horizon. So the singularity, already at infinite density, gains more mass and has an even higher infinite density. Yeah, I know, it's a little bit confusing. So the singularity doesn't really say much, but the event horizon is something that we can partially understand, because things actually happen at the event horizon. So you probably want to know what happens if things fell into a black hole. If you fell into a black hole, you would die very, very quickly. You would get ripped in half and half and half again and again until only individual atoms remained. If you were Mario and you found a star giving you invulnerability, you would fall into a black hole and see the rest of the universe's time pass by in an instant. Billions to trillions of years would pass by in the rest of the universe in just a split second of your time. To an outside observer, they would see you slow down as you got closer, redshift away from you until you disappeared. It may sound ridiculous, but it's caused by gravitational time dilation. The universe can be really confusing, and black holes are not that well understood. We don't understand a lot of what they are. Most of the ways we understand the universe are with math, but when we try to math the black hole, we need to divide by zero. You don't really get an answer. Maybe you will be the first person to crack the code and fully understand what a black hole is. As usual, thanks for watching, and have a super duper delicious day.